Now, the interesting thing, or one of the interesting things, comes down here where it says selective adjustments. And that's something that's very specific to um, HDR Effects Pro because it allows you to make local adjustments uh, more or less in a similar way as Lightroom does. Now, Lightroom is still far more powerful when it comes to local adjustments. Make no mistake about that. But still, you have a nice way of applying the, the, uh, the native HDR processing in, in HDR Effects Pro, not only to the whole image, but to uh, different sections based on a certain area that you define and based on uh, tones and colors that the software helps you select. Now, let's, let's try this uh, here on this image. And I'm, what I want to do is, I'd like to enhance these uh, reflections here of the trees a little bit down here. So what you do, you come down to this button which says control points, you click it, and then your cursor, when you move it over the image, becomes this little crosshair with the with the pin in the middle. And you click somewhere and you get this, um, this pin with a drop-down menu, so to speak. So these are different sliders that you see here. The first slider controls the size of this pin. So that's the area that is affected by that adjustment. And then you, you saw that I just um, clicked this little down triangle here. If you uh, add the pin at first, you only have four adjustments. And if you hover your mouse over those uh, sliders, these are sliders here, you see that? A again, double clicking uh, brings them back to their default position. Now, if you hover your mouse over those sliders, those labels to the to the left of them are going to expand, and you see that you can change the exposure, the contrast, the saturation, and the structure. If you click the down arrow, you get additional controls: black points, uh, blacks, whites, temperature, tint, and method strength. So that would be what you have up here for the global adjustments. And now, what I want to do here is. Get some more saturation into those areas, a little more contrast. So I'd like, I'd like to, to make those reflections more punchy. The way they are right now, they're too muted for my taste. And I don't, if I would, uh, try to do that with the global sliders, I think the trees and the, the sky would suffer a bit because they would receive too much details and too much punch. So that's why I'm using the uh, control points here. Now, typically, I would probably try to do these things in Lightroom, but just to demonstrate to you um, this feature, let's do this right here in the in the HDR Effects Pro software. So, again, you can go wild or be a little bit more uh, modest here. I'm just going to add some more contrast ac across the entire board of, of uh, detail level, so to speak. And I think... This looks good. Uh, now you can always, when you go down here to the selective adjustments uh, section, you can always tick this little check mark to disable the adjustments by this very con control point. In this section here, uh, the software is listing uh, all the control points that you create. And you can see when I tick the check mark, you can see that the uh, adjustment is applied. When I untick it, it is removed. Now the other nice thing is that you have this checkbox uh, back here on the on the right side. If you if you tick that, you can see which parts of the image are actually affected by that control point, which is a very useful thing. Okay, so you see that it doesn't only use a radial uh, mask to apply that, but it actually searches for similar tones and and colors in the image. So you can position that such that it affects more or less the the um, the areas the pixel that you want it to affect now you can see that if i increase the radius of this thing here it would be more or less a, a global adjustment which i which i don't want i, I only want to affect the uh, the reflections here and so what I'm doing is I'm going to, once I, I dial in those, uh, those uh, settings that, I'm, that I want to apply here, I can copy this pin 
and make a duplicate of it with the exact same settings and position that independently of the other one in the image. And that's what I'm going to do here. And to do that, I'm holding down the Alt or Command key on my keyboard. And you can see, I now have a second pin. I can do this another time. And you can see that by this um, procedure, I am able to expand the area where that, uh, those adjustments take effect. And that is very useful. Now you don't have to, to, to duplicate them. You can, com you can um, create entirely new pins and dial in different um, settings. You can also take any one of these and change those settings independently from the other ones. This is just a way of covering a, an area that is not as exactly a circle. That's the idea here. And in a way, it's a trick that I use sometimes here. So I'm going to do the same thing over here and I'm bringing the radius down a little bit so that it doesn't affect too much of the image. And so I'm going around to um, affect those green portions of the, of the reflections all the way around, trying to cover those areas with those local adjustments, with those control points that uh, HDR Effects Pro gives us. Now I think I could Oops, that's too small. I think I could use two adjustments here to really cover this area. And so you see by adding those control points and you see the whole list uh, here on the right side and you can disable or, or enable any one of those individually. By adding those control points, I was able to make a local adjustment, which you normally only can if you use uh, Photoshop or um, Lightroom in the in the software tools that we've seen so far, and that is a very nice feature. Mm -hmm.